1979, a small group of community-minded and caring individuals recognized a growing need to provide help and support for Sun City area residents. Now, 35 years later, Benavia is touching the lives of thousands of children, families, and seniors from all walks of life by cultivating caring communities. I came in 1951 to be the senior pastor of Bellevue Heights American Baptist Church. And I met Bill for the first time. He had the vision to start interface services. I would look upon Bill Wolfrey as the, the man behind it. And uh, he uh, got all the ministers together and got this group together that I met with the first five. <laughs> and uh, that's how it started. Well, it seems perfectly natural to me. Here we are, four different denominations. We want the same thing for everybody. And I remember going, I said, why don't we just call ourselves Interfaith? Interfaith was the big thing. I wanted everybody to feel welcome. They came here from all over the country, from everywhere, and everybody was entitled to be number one, if you know what I mean. But I prayed for friends because I lost all my friends. I outlived them. And when I found Benavia, that was a blessing. They're not only uh, helpers, but they're family, they're friends. They're wonderful. And that means a lot, especially when you're alone at 98. I started volunteering when my wife passed away. And I was active, and I wanted to, to do something to give back. When I lost my wife, I lost my family. That was all I had. And uh, thanks to Benavia, I have an adopted family. Well, when I first met Dan, I thought he was so friendly. I felt at ease wasn't. No problem. Well, I drove you once or twice and I said, I don't think we're going to get along very well because you didn't laugh at my jokes. What do you uh, mean I didn't laugh at your jokes? I told you a joke and you didn't laugh. Maybe, I remember maybe that. Maybe I didn't get it. And Well, that could be. <laughs> and then I said, uh-oh. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have laughed. <laughs> you are a wonderful okay. guy. <laughs> oh, God, you're funny, Dad. You've got to educate people to have compassion for others and to reach out and minister to the needs of others. And that means indiscriminate. Doesn't matter what the color of their face is, doesn't matter what their religion is, doesn't matter what their background is, it's their need that you're going to meet. I think one of my earliest memories, <clears throat> and one that I don't think I'll ever forget, was the first man that I took. And when I went to the door to get him, he came walking out and he said, oh, Judy, I don't think I can do this. And I thought, mm, is it because I'm a lady or just what's going on? And, and then he said, they took my car away yesterday and it was exactly like yours. And what could I say? It was just, I mean, we did fine. But I just felt so for him that, you know, just can't forget it. As this part develops, we're going to develop. We're going to develop. No doubt about it in my mind. No doubt about it in my mind. Benavia is going to be here for the next 30 years. 